Porter is out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Gordon. Then there's Morganovich. And it's Matthews in at the small forward position. Gilgis Alexander passes to Roby. Isaiah what a Roby. pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's capable as a scorer, but finds his teammate there. And it's Porter with the ball for the Houston Rockets. They trail by one. The Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Gordon kicks to Matthews. Launches it. The Thunder pull it in. Roby's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Mann. It's rebounded by Schroeder. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Matthews passes to Porter. There's the drive. And finished off by Porter. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh. Here's Roby. It's rebounded by Houston. Schroeder, left side. And yes, it's good. And it's Schroeder's got the lead up to three now for the Rockets. Well, this is what you must do when you get hit on a field goal attempt, right? Schroeder keeps his concentration. What maturity he's demonstrated these last couple of years. Man passes to Gilgis Alexander. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. A floater. And it's Gordon missing. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Down low. Roby can't hit. Houston's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Porter against Gilgis Alexander. Schroeder dishes to Porter. Six to shoot. To Matthews. Launches a three. Roby with the rebound. Roby's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Mann. He's guarded by Schroeder. Here's Pakusevsky. Buries the easy one. Pakusevsky's got ten points in just the second half. The Rockets trail. Here's Gordon. The layup off target. The Thunder have gone. 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47 percent. Man. No good that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. Schroeder looking around. Check in for the Rockets. Green comes in here for the fighter. Gilgis Alexander against Schroeder. Houston moving the ball around. Five on the clock. Passes it to Gordon. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got four assists now tonight. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Guarded by Maranovic. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. Kenrich Williams. He's checked in for the Thunder. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. You look at Jalen Green. He's really been playing well. You've got to take a timeout. timeout. Take a breath. Come up with a plan for how to stop this guy. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and, and it really backfired. Instead, he's just torn them up. He was aggressive, 
inviting the contact and really just taking it straight to him. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey guys, during the last break, here's what Mark Dagnall was telling his team. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in for three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thank you, David. Timeout call, the Rockets. Thunder on E. They lead by one. Her passes to court. Back to Schroeder. Shoots from 12. Just five to shoot. A shot. That's short off the rim. That's one he knows he should have drained. Dort kicks to Williams. Pass to Roby. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander to the inside. And that one's good by Roby. And he's really made the most of his opportunities to play. He needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Gordon against Dort. Breaking loose, and with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to a point with the bucket from Eric Gordon. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, if it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Up top, Marjanovic. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Rebound goes to the Thunder. Roby's got six rebounds now in the game. Inside, and the dunk to finish it off. Ah, beauty. And you can feel the excitement in the building. Both of these teams pouring it on. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. And the pass to Schroeder. A three-pointer off the mark. Now the Thunder with it. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Gilgis Alexander against Smith. Dort passes to Williams. Gilgis Alexander against Smith. Steps back and fires. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Thunder making a switch here. Aladon's checked in. Coming out of the floor for the Thunder, Teo Melano. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. It's a five-point game. Gordon finds Smith. Rob! And he commits the intentional foul. Higgins is dragged in for Melano. Back to his fifth personal foul. Fourth team foul. Coming out of the floor for the Thunder, Aaron Wiggins. 30 seconds left in the fourth Houston quarter, foul. and that's an intentional foul. Boban Marjanovic, that's his third personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Thunder, Shea Gilgis Alexander at the line for two. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. One of the things you love for Shea Gilgis Alexander is the time he was able to spend with Chris Paul. Anytime that happens, the ability to accelerate your development is obviously there. Second one is good. He both at the line. It's a seven-point game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're behind by seven. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Smith. A quick look, no good that time. 
You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. No one covering. Three. Man's got the lead up to 10 now for the Thunder. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. Dort with the ball. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. And really an outstanding effort all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Shea, balance scoring for you all tonight. What is working offensively? Yeah, uh, we're just trusting each other, playing for each other, uh, doing the sets that Coach has us doing, um, and really just, just being unselfish. Um, when you do those things, things like that happen. It was a great performance all around tonight. Congrats on the win again. Back to you.